Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we jump into the review, all the video stuff we're gonna be doing today, I wanted to tell you a quick story. So a couple weeks ago, I was on the computer, as one does in the 21st century, and I saw an article from Wired calling the XG from Jackrabbit the most useful electric bike. And I thought, well, that's a pretty bold statement, right? Might be some marketing, but just in case it is, maybe I should reach out to this company, see if we can get some units and put that to the test. So I reached out to the guys who were there. They sent me a couple of models and we're gonna be reviewing it to really put that statement to the test. Is this the most useful electric bike? So let's jump into it. So let's start off with our first impression of the bike. Now, upon first glance, or at least the online stuff that I had seen, it looks kind of like a child's play thing. Uh, but now that I've gotten to ride around a little bit, I would vehemently argue against that because this is something that fits full grown adults and it's super compact, you know, they're trying to keep that, that footprint down. So not a child's play thing, right? So I was kind of, you know, busting my own objections to the bike as we got to experience to play around with it. It's super light and I mean, super light and this thing is just you just throw it around just kind of whatever swing it want to have a little swing action going on here and it is much higher quality than i expected as well now given the price point for the xg i believe they are going for about 1800 dollars. it's not exactly you know super cheap it's not like a super cheap price and so you get a lot more here than you'd expect or at least than i expected so first impression surprisingly well built uh, a lot of ingenuity in here between this one and the og now we're going to have another video comparing the xg and the og so stay tuned for that but to give you a little sneak peek there there's a lot of cool things that i noticed in the differences between the two models as they are progressing and adding more bikes to their lineup so all in all first impression is very good now let's get down to the mean potatoes of this video which is going to be looking at some of the different use cases factors specs all that jazz all right, so if you are not taking this thing around, the next question would be, how does it handle, you know, scooting around the neighborhood, doing some commuter type, chore type stuff, and I didn't have anything to do. I was thinking, I was like, oh, do I need to drop off a package? No, do I need to go get a coffee? No, just drink a monster, so I'm good to go. But I had a hankering for a Snickers bar, so it's got, uh, we got a gas station here, it's outside the neighborhood, so we're just gonna scoot on down there and see, uh, see how she handles just going for a, Going for a snicker run. Well, it's off to a great start. Now, just so, so there's some context here, I do have the seat down pretty much all the way. It's not exactly my ideal riding position here. You don't have to worry about pedal geometry or anything because there ain't no pedals. But that's probably something where I would lift it up quite a bit. But even though I'm, you know, 220, 5'11", I mean, this thing hits 20 miles per hour, no issues. And it does so in a nice, nice smooth way, which is a bonus. Sometimes when you get to these thumb throttles on some of these, you know, smaller e-bikes, they tend to be either not very responsive or too responsive, and they really dialed this one in on the XG just right. So I'm hitting 20 point, nine ish 20.6 to 20.8 and we're just cruising the whole way so let's get on with it And just like that, we are back in the neighborhood. Successful Snickers run. Dum, 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 
dum dum dum. We're singing the Mission Impossible thing this whole time. I'm not uh, not quite sure. This makes you feel like Ethan Hunt, I guess. Portability is where the XG really shines. Let me show you something. Here's me trying to load the Zoo's UU 1100. Now this took me a good while. Now the XG loaded up in seconds. So if you're always on the move, this is definitely a game changer. The battery on this little beast is something else. Tesla grade quality, UL certification, you name it. And they are super easy to swap out. And for those of you who are curious, these are the same batteries on the OG, so you can swap out between the platforms. Now riding the XG isn't just about commuting, going from A to B, it's about going out and having fun. So this is me whipping through the park, going down some trails, taking a little bit off road, seeing what it could do. Cause for me, fun isn't always on the streets. I like being out in nature, I like going down some of these trails. And so it was really cool that the Jackrabbit was able to just zip on down the trails like, uh, well, like a little Jackrabbit. Now I thought about sitting here and talking about how good this bike is for women, but I thought I would let a woman do that. So without further ado, here's my wife giving her thoughts on the XG so far. All right, so what are your initial impressions of the XG? You know, honestly, I just really like this bike. I've been on maybe 20 different e-bikes and I just hadn't found one that was quite the fit for me. I really like my acoustic mountain bike um, and I love that this takes some of those elements right into an e-bike that makes the transition from bike to e-bike so easy. Like I feel like it, the maneuverability is great. I love that it's nice and lightweight. I'm a strong girl but I don't want to be like lugging something around just to like have fun on an e-bike. I really like that it just kind of takes that element out of it and I can hop on this. I feel like it's super fun, super fast, and really easy to get on the road. I love the weight of it. It doesn't feel like this big clunky bike where once I'm on it, I have to like use a lot of my strength to maneuver. I feel like I can just dart in, dart out, um, ride the bike smoothly and efficiently. You know what, I also really like the ease of not having pedals, just to be able to sit, recline, enjoy the ride. It is a super fun element to the bike that takes, again, some thinking out of it. I just get to get on the bike and have some fun. The only thing that I would change is just the suspension. Sometimes it gets a little bit jolty, a little bit rocky um, when I'm getting on and off the from the sidewalk, from the curb, and all that jazz. Well, they have... They have a seat for suspension um, that you can get. What? Oh, yeah, well then, adds to cart immediately. <laughs> so why choose a micro e-bike? Well, it's all about practicality, easier storage, better portability, and tailored use cases that larger bikes just can't match. The XG is a prime example of how less can indeed be more. Here's a compared to the Conductor 4.2 from OL Cycles, the Zoo's UU 1100, the Samurai from Zen, the electric XP Lite, and the OG from Jackrabbit, but that's for another video. And here's the XG next to a Subaru Outback with a sexy man for context. If we compare the XP and the XG, there are some things that stand out. And the first thing you'll notice is the XP is longer, a lot longer, about 10 inches longer, actually. Now, standover heights are pretty similar. The XG does have it beat by about an inch, and handlebar height obviously goes to the XG. It's a lot smaller than the XP. And the last thing that also jumps out, but you kind of got to be there to experience it, is the weight difference. The weight difference here is pretty substantial, and even though both of these bikes are easy to handle, the XG is a lot easier to hold up, maneuver, as you can see from those clips. So to wrap this whole video up, I think I have come to the conclusion that Wired may have hit the nail on the head calling the XG the most useful electric bike. Now, they said a lot of nice things about the bike, and was a little bit skeptical, a little bit skeptical of all media to be honest. And it seems like they really did the bike justice. There's a lot of use cases here. And so far I've enjoyed, and I say so far because normally with the electric bikes, we sell them afterwards, right? We've got to stay in business, but I think this one's going to stay in the garage and I think it deserves a, uh, yeah, it's a well, it's a well-earned spot in the garage. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you guys got questions about Jackrabbit or the XG, let me know. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one.